What's up students, it's your boy Philly GT here, back again. Due to popular requests today, I will show you how to make a spore syringe from your spore prints. If you don't know how to make a spore print, you can check out my spore print video. I'll have a link to that in the description. Do you know what a spore syringe is? It's a syringe that has spores in it. Ta-da! Alright, to make a spore syringe, you want to keep everything as sterile as possible. Just like every other step of mushroom cultivation, the cleaner you are, the better results you're going to get. Quick list of ingredients you're going to need in order to do this. You're going to want a spore print, a syringe, uh, either used or new, a shot glass, a lighter or some kind of flame source to flame sterilize, you want some isopropyl alcohol for sanitization, a steel air box or a flow hood to work in, an X-Acto knife to scrape the spores with, a pressure cooker to sterilize your equipment, some gloves, and some sterilized water. Or if you don't have that, you can use distilled water. For today's video, I'll be using an old spore syringe that I'm recycling. I got this from a vendor, I used it all, and I'm just gonna reuse it here. So we're gonna sterilize it first before we use it. We'll go ahead and wrap our equipment here in foil. This is to prevent condensation from dripping onto our stuff. It also keeps the items clean in there until ready to use. You're also going to want to sterilize some water. I just filled up a typical mason jar here with some water. Here I'm pressure cooking some agar today. So I'll go ahead and throw in my spore syringe and shot glass along to get sterilized as well. Pretty much kill two birds with one stone kind of deal. So we're going to pressure cook these for 30 minutes at 15 psi. After your pressure cooker is done, just turn off the heat and let everything cool down until it's ready to use. And in case you're wondering, every time I pressure cook, I make sure my media bottle, as well as my jar of sterilized water here, have the lid a little bit loose. After everything's done pressure cooking, I'll go ahead and tighten it before I remove it from the pressure cooker. Alright, after everything has been cooled down in your pressure cooker, we want to go ahead and transfer our equipment over into our still air box. Just an important note here for anyone that's attempting to make spore syringes. The method I'm showing you today is how I would make a spore syringe to the best of my ability using the current equipment that I have. This is by no means the best way to have a sterile spore syringe. In order to really create a sterile spore syringe, you will need a laminar flow hood. In this method, there's a possibility my spore prints can contain contamination particles. I did not make the spore prints in front of a flow hood, so I cannot guarantee how clean it is. I can only say that the water, the syringe, and the shot glass is clean because they have been pressure sterilized. And even with the equipment that's sterilized, without a laminar flow hood to work in front of, there's always a possibility that some microscopic particles in the still air box can land on my tools and somehow get inside the syringe. So if you decide to make the spore syringe using this method, don't be surprised if you don't get the results you were hoping for. I highly recommend that when you're working with spores to germinate it on agar and to clean it up before transferring to grain jars. Alright, with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and get back to the video here. Now what I'm going to do here is wipe all of my equipment down with isopropyl alcohol. I'm trying my best to keep everything in here as clean as possible. Next we're going to go ahead and get our shot glass and syringe in preparation here. Now I'm using a little uh, trivet here to uh, raise my equipment off of the floor of the still air box. This is to kind of keep it away from any possible contamination that fell onto the floor here. Right now we're going to flame sterilize our exacto knife. You want to heat it up until it's red hot. And then we'll go ahead and put it in our still air box to cool down before we use it on our spore print. Now 
Now we'll go ahead and carefully unwrap our sterile shot glass out of the foil here and place it on the trivet. All right, next we'll go ahead and unwrap our spore print from our foil here. Just carefully open it up. Here I'm gonna avoid touching the areas that are around the spore print. I made a little bit of a crease on the foil here so that the spores can easily slide down into the shot glass. And with our sterilized exacto knife, we'll go ahead and scrape a little bit of the spores off of our foil here. And we'll go ahead and transfer that into the shot glass. with the spores in the shot glass we'll go ahead and remove the spore syringe from our foil here now we have a nice clean sterile spore syringe to work with we'll go ahead and uncap it uh, next we're going to go ahead and draw up some of our sterilized water what i'll do is i'll carefully remove the lid a little bit Stick your syringe in there, pull up some of the sterilized water until you have a full 10 cc of your syringe here. And then we'll go ahead and close the lid again on our water. And then with the liquid in our syringe, we'll go ahead and squirt that into the shot glass. You see the spores dancing around in the water here? Uh, there's going to be some clumps of the spores still in there. So what I'll go ahead and do is we'll suck the liquid and the spores into the syringe and we're going to shoot it out into the shot glass a couple times. This is going to aspirate the solution and get the spores well mixed into our sterilized water. Uh, you want to do this, I don't know, maybe two or three times just to get it well mixed. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and wipe the needle tip here with uh, isopropyl alcohol just to keep it sterilized. And we'll put the cap back on the syringe. And there you have it. That's how you make a spore syringe. Here, I'll pull it out here to give you guys a closer look at how the spore syringe should look. So we'll see if we can get the camera to focus here. There we go. There you can see our spores floating inside of our syringe here. And that's pretty much it. Right, now what I do with my spore syringes is I'll put them in a Ziploc bag and put them inside of a cardboard box and I'll store them in the fridge. And they should last for years until I need them. Shout out to this month's patron supporters, Jeffrey K, Tanya W, Kayla W, Burke T, Fibonacci, KCW, The King of Spores, Alex M, Ricci, Alyssa, and Christopher W. Thank you to these amazing people for supporting the PCT team. And that's the end of today's class. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the lesson, Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Got any questions? Feel free to leave them in a the comment. I'll see you all in the next class. Peace out.